Hi everyone, it's Hanny. Just a just a quick little uh, reminder of how to stay green. It's not easy being green, as Kermit for Frog says. Um, just a few quick tips and reminders, or things you may not even know. Um, <clears throat> Bring around a reusable water bottle. Try to get rid of all the the bottles. You know, don't uh, don't keep on buying those throwaway bottles if you can. Reuse, recycle. Um, keep green or keep glassware um, containers for your for um, storing food and get rid of those plastic ones. Try to, re try to recycle all those plastic ones. And they're better for you too. You know, there's all kinds of um, stuff in the plastic that gets into our system when we use plastic to store food or we drink the water bottles. If we can use the reusable water bottles as much as you can. Um, <clears throat> You know, I used to work at Savers. I used to wonder why, in God's name, <coughs> excuse me, are people um, donating things that are stained? They're, especially the kids and baby clothes, stains every, absolutely everywhere. They're, they're, they're donating stained, um, sometimes even, I have to say, disgusting clothes. You know, and I found out why working at Savers, when I used to work at Savers, um, places like Savers, um, you donate the clothes even when they're stained is because the, we take them and we recycle them. Or you can find out about um, how to recycle cloth and clothing and um, fabrics. You can check with textile mills. We can um, go ahead and I, not every um, place that has, um, not every thrift store does this, so you want to check with the thrift store. Um, so go ahead at those specific places and donate um, clothes, even if they are stained. <clears throat> Again, all kinds of things. Um, most things can be recycled. Please recycle as much as possible recycle um take things to be recycled you know you think i'll throw this away or you know it's not good enough to to donate somewhere well you can donate it to be recycled even if it's not in perfect condition or even if it seems like you should throw away something double check with that please go ahead and double check hmm can i actually um, recycle this somewhere um, I don't you can't sell things you know like that are they're bad no one's gonna buy something at your um, <clears throat> at your garage sale or yard sale um, they're not gonna take it um, in bad condition at a thrift store but um, if they take plate things that to recycle them you can, instead of throwing them away, do that. And think about all the things that you can recycle instead of throwing away. There's all kinds of places that you can bring in reusable containers instead of using their containers. Um, <clears throat> and then throw, just simply throw them out. You can recycle, you can reuse containers there's a lots of books on the subject of how to do things like that there are people who have little to no waste it took a lot a lot of time it took a lot of research and if you're willing to do that you can cut down your waste almost entirely um, there are there are places nowadays that um, help keep you green, help keep them green, support things, find out what other countries are doing too because you know um, a lot of countries do things, I hate to say it, a, lo a little better than America tends to uh, find out all the ways that you can, different things and different ways 
things you can recycle. You know, they have um, water in cardboard now, water in the cardboard that you can recycle. And, um, you know, you, and you may think you're recycling something, but really not. They're, they have to be clean. You do have to rinse them out. You do have to clean them and help out the recycling companies because you know what it's going to happen you think hey I'm doing this great thing I'm recycling but really what happens is if it's not clean um, they tend not to they tend to just go ahead and throw it away too then all that stuff still ends up in a landfill so think about how you know how things are recycled recycled is just as important as just simply tossing it in the recycle bin because the little caps on water for example or on the caps on juice or the just those all those plastic caps cannot be recycled to too small those you actually do have to throw away if you're out and about throw things in recycle bins throw things in in garbage cans you know so many times I see garbage so close to a uh, a garbage can that is just like what you know are we really that lazy are we really this lazy that we we can't just go ahead and put those in the recycle bins there's all kinds of ways that we can we can help if you you know I, I was at the park a few weeks ago with my mother and my dog and I saw some flip-flops and they're just the the manicure I mean the pedicure flip-flops you know I'm like I'm just gonna throw this away you don't want to touch things you can throw it away you can find a tissue in your purse or something and pick it up with the tissue and throw it away or use a sanitizer or wash your hands immediately following if you can just where you see garbage and there are garbage cans it may not be your garbage but please just go ahead and recycle them or throw them away also are you wearing using um, things like makeup disposable makeup um, wipes that is waste that is creating waste um, please don't use that the the swifter cleaners or the all the types of mops where you use reuse the pad and just throw it away or the dusting or the wipes for wiping um, you know cleaning mirrors and glass all that stuff that's creating waste if you can take your toilet paper um, the toilet paper roll and recycle that instead of throwing that away recycle magazines keep things out of landfills and bodies of water like the ocean the beaches as much as humanly possible i mean just take a moment just to think there are many um there are many books have all kinds of information yeah a lot of it may take a little effort a little research a little time to get used to oh don't throw this away i can recycle this think about things buy purchase things that are made of recyclable goods you know when my son was little we were both in pageants and he had to have dress shoes um i got him a pair of dress shoes that were something like 76 percent made out of recycled material so at pretty much anything um, you can think of that you can buy it can be recycled and or made of recycled material you know you can get um, stationery you can get napkins you can get paper towels you can get all the kinds of things that are not are made of recyclable um, material if you're just conscious a little bit more of of certain things it just becomes a habit make it a habit um, make it you know make your habits good habits not replace the bad habits with good habits as much as you can um, reuse things repurpose things um, I take I took um, like this hat rack and I got it um, from a thrift shop I put it up in my bathroom to have my um, um, my hair dryer and curling irons and things on 
So repurpose things, reuse things, recycle things. Um, you, you know, do a little bit of creative thinking. If you need, like one of the other things is I put my earrings um, all in this little, the little box that you get that you, when people make jewelry, you put all the little beads in there. Um, I don't make jewelry, but I, I have my jewelry in there. I put my necklaces and things up on the walls. I take blank canvases from thrift shops and I, and I take um, thumbtacks and put my necklaces on um, the, the blank canvas with the thumbtacks. If you need space and need to reuse things, take a, just a canvas that you can get from a thrift sh store or the, or those those picture boards you can use those and hang your bracelets and, and necklaces and things up on the picture boards and stuff with thumbtacks or even directly into the wall it's kind of an interesting way to decorate your wall it's different and um it's you it's saving space things like that so just kind of try to be conscious of what you can do conscious and creative of different ways to reuse things repurpose things recycle things and just um, you know there's there's all kinds of, of books and videos with with great ideas of how you can stay green and and do things even greener you know use um, if you if you put some fruit or some um, of the um, the uh, oils the different uh, diffuser diffuser oils in mixed in with the vinegar things like that you can vinegar cleans up most things and uh, not just mirrors and if try if you try if you can to just put the 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 different oils and incense and things not incense but the different oils or even actual fruit in with the vinegar so it won't smell as bad and um, or any kind of natural cleanser make sure that things are 100 percent natural though you can you can use cleansers yourself i used to be I used to clean houses for a living and you can use vinegar um, just regular vinegar for so many things if you do a little research you can figure out things that um, are good for your own body um, like um, olive oil for example is good for the cuticles it's good for the hair and skin um, coconut oil too is good for that so um, just get off the subject of recycling just for a second but but also it's kind of still on the subject because that's um, many ways of of using reusing repurposing things like olive oil and, and coconut oil for your skin for your hair for your nails for yourself um, to consume um, and eat healthier um, better food and and how to keep your um, you know keep yourself green and one other little trick you can do and it and it'll save you money use him pink Himalayan salt or else um, sugar or different just uh, regular type of table salt and some olive oil or coconut oil and you can just mix that up and that's really all you need as an exfoliant on your face and on your body just those two ingredients you do it yourself it saves money and um, you know exactly what's in it so um, just research that kind of thing be conscious of those type of things and uh, I hope uh, that was helpful and have a great day namaste